G. Welcome to my secret recording studio in Phoenix Hill, Arizona. Uh, today's guitar is um, a recently completed Relic Les Paul Jr. Dual Cutaway Custom. Um, she's relic on the body, on the back of the neck, on the hardware. I wanted this guitar to look like it had been on the road for 40 plus years, dragged behind uh, the crazy Detroit rockers and early punk rock pioneers. And I think we did that quite well. The body has cracks in the finish. Uh, it is a lacquer TV yellow and <clears throat> It has what I call my uh, my uh, my semi semi semi. It is a it is a semi gloss satin. So um, unlike a bunch of the Fender Custom Shop stuff that comes out all beat up but with a high gloss finish, this actually looks like it's been on the road for 40 years, not created in a factory. Ah, well, on top of that, you'll notice it's classic. Les Paul Jr. pick guard. You will notice it's the classic Les Paul Jr. controls. The six on a, or the three three head stock. This neck is an actual Gretsch neck. I uh, scored a bunch of them recently. So you will start seeing some of those in my other builds. The body is a southern yellow pine body. Um, made in America. Um, and of course, relic by me. And uh, it has a uh, Seymour Duncan P90 in it that was pulled from a Paul Reed Smith guitar. It actually has PRS on the back of the pickup. And then it has a uh, Strat style hardtail bridge. I like these because they're, they're, they allow you to infinitely uh, set up your guitar, unlike the old wraparounds. Uh, controls are volume and tone. And behind the tone pod is an orange drop capacitor. Gives you all kinds of tone control. Let me demonstrate to you that via my clean black heart 15 watt tube amp. This is of course the bridge pickup because there is only one pickup. This is with the uh, tone all the way up. Take it to about six. This guitar is really, really dying to rock. Let me add a little bit of overdrive. I've got a, a garage tone chainsaw distortion. And uh, here we go. Nice, nice. Now, let's kick it into overdrive with a Bluetooth distortion pedal. And again, I still got my tone at about four and a half, five. Uh, that hum you hear is, is a classic P90 sound. Hence the term humbucker because humbuckers are two single coils wired together to cancel out hum. They were a hum canceling. So you're going to get a little bit of hum with a P90, but you'll also get some rawness with a P90 that you won't get with any other pickup. That's why I love them so much. Anyways, this is my blue tube crank through my hand. Thank you. 
She plays clean, she plays dirty, and she plays with balls. My name is Mike G. This is on uh, eBay until um, the 17th of, uh, of March. Check me out on eBay. Check me out online. My uh, or give me a call, 602-769-1131. I'd love to build your guitar. This one starts out at $199. It'll probably go for about $300, bucks, but I do custom builds usually for less than $400. Give me a call. Thanks for watching. My name is Mike G, and I'm out.